Hey, families in Baltimore got to step into the Ice Age, traveling 10,000 years into the past. A new exhibit, which the Natural History Society of Maryland has created, brought in some never before seen artifacts to the state of Maryland. WMAR 2 News' Janae Wright has the story. Fossils of many creatures were on display at the exhibit, from moose heads and deer to bald eagles and beavers. But the display everyone came to see, the partial skeleton of a real woolly mammoth. I have not seen mammoth bone before, and the exhibit is really cool. Parts of the fossilized skeleton were collected in Alaska over a number of years by an archaeologist by the name of Dr. Charles Breeze, and it is the first to ever be displayed in the state of Maryland. Coming to see this exhibit is a huge opportunity to understand understand what our state was like before we were even here. Woolly mammoths walked on the same ground that we walk on every day, and it's not something a lot of us think about a lot. So we want to really bring that awareness that we're part of a huge, rich natural heritage here in Maryland, and this is only a small moment in it. The event also had many fun activities for the whole family, from a historical video about woolly mammoths to arts and crafts where kids got to make their own mammoths. It's um, really fun to learn about like the history of like, all the animals. This one and this one. Yeah. And, like, Another special part of the exhibit, the mammoth mural painted by Brittany Roger. I've been fantasizing about doing an exhibit mural since I was 17. She says when she was asked to paint the mural, she took advantage of the opportunity. I spent 87 hours on the mural uh, and that included sketches and research. I did a lot of practice. Her mural gives a clear picture of what life was like for the mammoths 10,000 years ago. The National History Society of Maryland encourages everyone to visit the exhibit because it and the mammoth won't be in Maryland for long. We'll have this exhibit for about a year and it's going to evolve as we have it. And so over time, different pieces will be um, added, different types of artifacts will come in. So people will get to learn with us as we add new components. The society is also working to get the full skeleton of the mammoth to Maryland. They have a GoFundMe set up for people to donate and to help them reach that goal. Janae Wright, WMAR 2 News.